Okay, so welcome to another episode of the time machine that is the Comfort Cartoons Archive. We are adding another new item to our Nickelodeon counter and also our SpongeBob counter and attempt to archive every single item in the Comfort Cartoons collection here in the Cartoon Cavern. Today, we are gonna be going over the 2002 and 2003 Johnson & Johnson SpongeBob Green Label Band-Aids. And I specify 2002 and 2003 because there was different variants I had to check on this box to see if this box here is from 2003, but there are some other variants in packaging for smaller, less brutal occasions, I guess you could say, a lesser amount of Band-Aids. You have the 2003 packaging of the Band-Aids right here, which comes with just a normal sleeve green label top piece up here as well. And then over here, you have the green label 2002 packaging, which seems to have some kind of plastic cover in order to protect the actual cardboard itself for those specifically brutal injury type of situation. So we have these two right here that we'll be going over as well. Doesn't have too much to offer that the box itself doesn't, but we'll take a look at them. First, let's start off with the main box. So of course you've got SpongeBob there on like Prince or Princess Jellyfish. I mean, doesn't have the crown that you'd see on the king or the queen. It's got a glow in the dark feature to these bandits. We'll be testing out at some point in this video. 20 sterilized. I doubt that it's still sterilized at this point after 20 years, but possibly still sterilized assorted bandages on the top here we still have an original price tag you can see that retail these for about two dollars which is pretty consistent with the price they have for some of the, the newer bandages as well in the history of the johnson and johnson band-aids we've had things like toy story monsters inc finding nemo blues clues cars many different band-aids and that's about the average price of the band-aids even still today so with all the things that have gone up over the years it's good to see that one staple has still stayed strong and that is band-aids so let's take a look at the full box here on this side it has the different sizes for the band-aids it has a regular size band-aid as you can see there has 10 of those and 10 junior band-aids because obviously when you're a kid your wounds would be typically smaller i suppose it says distributed by johnson and johnson made in the u.s 2002 actually so over here it says 2002 on the box so i was slightly incorrect on the box in this 2002 over here on this side they go from that era from 2002 2003 i wouldn't be shocked if you could find some boxes with even 2004 but on this side over here we have the band-aid brand adhesive bandage which is essentially the kleenex or febreze of bandages pretty much everybody calls a bandage a band-aid no matter whether it's a bandage or an actual branded band-aid they have kind of coined the name of a bandage and it says a boo boo don't go overboard just have an adult wash the offending mark with soap and water dress it up with a nip fly nautical spongebob bandage then it's smooth sailing to healing beach i would love to go to healing beach that sounds like quite a nice place to spend any amount of time really offending mark is what i will from now on call every wound i get an offending mark on the back here you'll see you have a little spot the difference with sandy and also spongebob and you can go ahead and try to spot all five differences there and see if you can find all five in the comments down below let me know i'll get a little zoom in here so you guys can try to see if you can find all the five differences yourself there i, I found them I, it will, I will say it was a little bit more time than you know i adult probably should have taken to, to find them all but if you need help you can flip this upside down you'll see the answers on the bottom down there you have the classic nick.com logo on the bottom here and also on top you get a little preview there of some of the bandages inside and the bottom we have a barcode of course you scan in the store to hopefully get that two dollar price tag and on these package variants that we have here in the collection we can go ahead and account three items actually into the spongebob and nickelode encounter because they are variants and there's enough difference for them to be considered variants the front covers are pretty much identical just being one slightly maybe smaller on the back has the same information basically displayed this one you can see here was sent by faith h in 2023 here in fan mail so shout out to faith and thank you so much but it has pretty much the same information on the back of both of them just kind of oriented a little bit differently step one clean wash with soap and water step two treat with first aid cream and protect apply with a nifty bandage then it's smooth you know all of these get you a granted ticket to sailing beach so we have all three of these guys here for you to add onto our counter let's go ahead and these ones actually do pop open so let's go ahead and see if we can check through the um the actual bandage itself here you'll see it's a kind of a transparent color so you can see the bandage there this one says looking good but let's see if we cut the lights here hit it with a black light if this glow in the dark feature still works on the band-aid okay so i've cut the majority of the lights in here there's only one light that i can't really get to quite easily and that is the nick sign light so let's go ahead and hit this guy with the black light and if we hit this with the black light here you can actually see that is 
pretty cool that a bandage for 20 years later still actually happens to glow there. That's about as close up as I can get before it starts blurring out on us. But that is actually remarkable. <laughs> so, okay, so on this one, you can see there's SpongeBob blowing a bubble. And it seems that SpongeBob is actually what glows on any of the bandages. And I will say, I mean, as somebody who's tested many glow in the dark products before, this thing has better glow on it than some marketed as a glow in the dark product. So that is pretty incredible. Okay, and on that note, that actually covers our Band-Aids here from the 2003 line. There are other SpongeBob Band-Aid variations that I will probably feature down the line here on this archive show. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe. If you guys want to support the show even further, go check us out on Patreon. Helps us keep the glow in the dark lights on in the cavern here, and it goes a long way, and we appreciate it so much. You get extended version of all the videos on my main Nickelodeon collecting channel, Comfort Cartoons. And if you haven't checked out that channel, definitely go check it out. You get to see all the fun antics that me and my family go on in this quest of collecting. But on that note, thank you so much for just watching this video, and I will see you guys in the next episode of the Comfort Cartoons Archive. And bloop!